Alhamdulillah. So you don't have to give up your faith because of people who have a warped understanding. No, continue teaching the people that look, I'm a Muslim. For example, I'm a Muslim and I will, I'm a good Muslim. I'm a devout Muslim, but I'm reaching out to you. I love you. There are sects among the Muslim. We get along. That's how it should be. We should be getting along. We should greet each other. This business of labeling people kafir is one of the roots of the problems we have. And that does not exist only with one sect. Trust me, it exists with many, many sects. When you have a difference, you know, this one's a kafir. Why? For what? Why use heavy terms? Obviously, this might be understood by the Muslims more than others. But we know it's a problem because the minute you label someone with these labels that are so heavy, do you know what will happen? It creates a sense of... Uh, going back to some rulings in the hearts of some of the Muslims and you know the ruling of apostasy for example some of them have made mention of some harsh rulings the problem is the people start taking the law in their own hands that's where the problem is a few days ago I, I saw a clip on YouTube there is a singer called Junaid Jamshed I don't know if you heard that name what happened to him is he's a Pakistani in one of his talks he was a singer and he, he turned to the Dean and he became a little bit more serious about his faith but still he was promoting something saying something in his statements you know we are human beings I'm sure we have a slip of the tongue now and again it's normal look I'm speaking to you without a paper so it's definitely possible in fact I would have slipped up here and there either linguistically I might have said one or two things I may not have finished what I started and so on. it's normal human beings that's what we are someone picked something and said this man is blasphemous against Aisha radiallahu anha the man apologized and he did it publicly and he put it up on all forums but two days ago he landed at the airport in Lahore and a group of Muslims with big beards they started beating him up and they broke his glasses and they were hitting him and he ran away as big as he is and why they said he's a kafir you know he's an insulter of the Prophet the man apologized a long time ago for the slip of the tongue it was a statement that he made. He said something about Aisha radiallahu anha, whatever it was. And he acknowledged, look, it was a mistake. I read a narration. It was a false narration, whatever it was. But they beat him up. Those are the ones who are listening to the others who are sitting back in their little parlors, calling this one kafir, that one kafir. What happened? As a result, the public took the law in their own hands to hit him. There's a difference of opinion. Leave the man. But he apologized on top of that. And still... What was the root of that? It was because someone somewhere called him a kafir. That's what it is. Relax. If I have a difference with you, I could say, my brother, this is a deed of disbelief. That's correct. But to label you, hey, this one, that Allah has kept one entire day to do that. It's known as Yawm din the day of judgment. Don't judge people just like that. If, if people were non-Muslim and they accepted Islam, or people were sinful and they came to the right path. Remember, there would also be people on the right path who later become sinful. It could be. So don't be judgmental. Try and contribute positively to everyone. Try and reach out to all. If you see something wrong, there is a way of correcting it. Think and think deeply, not, not just shallow. Think very deep. People are generally good, but the devil comes to us and makes us love gossip and start up a problem. And we get, we get excitement when we see people fighting. Yeah, you see, it's gone there and it's the, for what? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us together in Jannah, the same way he has gathered us here. May Allah bless you all. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Muhammad.